Uh, yeah, they literally like go through like the fucking that guy who finds dead like relatives pictures. I guess the only thing is, I mean, since I duct taped the phone to this uh, to the rear view, uh, I can't use the rear view anymore. And I so that's the only dangerous thing about doing this, I guess. Oh fuck! Come on, yeah, you used to on. drive with it. Used to drive a fucking you know. You used to Uber drunk. You used to drive a piece of duct tape with wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you drove you drove like an electric car that had like fucking new new plutonium inside of it. Mm, this kicks ass. And your Tesla honestly used to suck ass. I, like, can, can, your can Tesla I be was a real about piece of Tesla? shit. That, Let's that be was the, the the like it. You felt every bump in the road in that piece of shit. You really did. It was uh, a it was a it was a iPhone jalopy. <laughs> And if you tried to like change a song, if you tried to change the air conditioning, you had to look away from the road for like forty five yeah, seconds. You have to look at a giant plasma screen to just fucking turn the uh, the defroster. Yeah, you on. have to run a treadmill while you're driving in LA traffic at seventy miles an hour. Oh look, this is a retard with a model Y, a twenty twenty two. Oh, the model what Y twenty twenty twos, they lost if you buy a new Model Y 2022... I'm going to run them off the fucking road. <laughs> Flatten the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, this is the first podcast that'll be used in a deposition. Hey, should this podcast basically just be a uh, duel where we get with this Model Y, we yeah, run them off ben, the road? and follow somebody. <laughs> Let's follow somebody into the hills. You know what I kind of wanted to get into, and I'm not joking, Devin? I wanted to kind of get into stalking. Where I choose oh. a stranger and I just stalk them and follow them oh, wherever dude. they. I, dude. Let, ben, let me. I'm way ahead of you with that. <laughs> I stalk multiple people in my neighborhood. There's one woman up the street. She has a great rack and she loves yo play. Right, and she leaves her back curtains wide open. <laughs> <laughs> ben, you'd be a great stalker. You'd I be, would love to stalk. You'd be a great sleazy private eye, like the guy who. Uh, you'd be like the guy in a fucking. Um, What's the Coen Brothers movie? Uh, 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 Where they're all gangsters. Oh, um, Miller's Crossing. Miller's Crossing. You'd be yeah. the guy in the Miller Crossing with the pencil thin mustache who's like going up to a mirror while the wife's getting fucked and being like, cha ching, cha ching. Oh, I would love that. Sending a jalopy eating peanut shells. Well, well obviously, stalking is a, it's sexual. I, I have no interest in what anyone's actually doing. I want to I want to follow them. Is home. that a tumbleweed <laughs> on the Holy fucking shit. road, dude? That's an actual old west tumbleweed Good in the Lord. middle Jesus. of the road. I thought that was Gracie following that us. That is, come on, that's Hamas. Yeah. That's not a. That's weird. There's a. That was a. That was a cartoon tumbleweed in the middle of the road. That's like. That was like a fucking anvil in the middle of the road. Yeah, Hamas is uh, attacking the old west through tumbleweeds. Ben, let's like drive around these like weird old. Uh, these weird neighborhoods. I just keep checking the phone. I can only see the slit of it through the glass to see if it's still recording. You can't tell it if seems it's recording. It seems good because it's the red square. If it's on, yeah. If it has the red square, it's recording. The red square is recording. We all know what the red square means. It means you have the ability to stop the recording. Yeah. Famously, this is what the red square means. The red square is what people are posting on Instagram in mm -hmm. honor of Killers of the Flower Moon. <laughs> in support of uh, Leo's character. Yes, exactly. Yeah. In support of poisoning your Native American wife. Because <laughs> you love money. I love money! Such a funny. That's the ultimate retard thing to say. Oh, do you? Do you love money? Yeah, at a poker game. Yeah, like right. trying to impress people, and you go, "I love money." <laughs> You're just like, "Oh, nice to meet you. I'm just an id, and then nothing else." You go, "I love money. Oh my, did much as I love pussy. <laughs> I also love shitting, and I love sleep." You know what's you know what's great is if Leo was born in 1980, he'd be the best like motorboat salesman of all time <laughs> he'd just be like working at like a bass like fucking bass boat. pro sports yeah like a bass for like a bass pro for, like the pyramid in memphis and he'd be like now nah, i love money and pussy and you're gonna buy this bad boat you're gonna get so much dick sucked on this bass boat and then he'd go home to his like fat indian wife and be like honey i made 200 bones today indian or native american uh, Indian. Indian, because he Indian got confused. <laughs> his his yeah. uh, Robert De Niro uncle told him to marry an Indian, so he married a woman named, like, Poonjar. Yeah, he's telling his Native American wife to make him tikka masala. <laughs> he's like, I married an Indian. Her name's Poonjab Fleebleflap. You won't let me give you the fucking, the fucking insulin with your, with your old pretend to come again, bullshit. 
<laughs> he's completely wrong. Yeah, he's trying to get the Seven Eleven fortune. You know, when I was a kid, I know this is like a hack joke online, but like sincerely, when the lights were on in the car, my parents made me think that like, like we were all gonna get like killed or arrested and taken in. Yeah, I think every I think everybody's parents. Why was that? What was why? I've never heard of that. You've never your parents. You never turned the the lights on in the car, and your parents were like, "Okay, only for like five seconds, or else we we detonate." Yeah, if the cops see it, like we'll get arrested. Yeah, they always used to act like you would get like in a lot of trouble if the lights were on. I think it's literally it's just parents. It was parents being like annoyed that the lights were on, so they rather than being a good parent, exactly asking you to do something, they had to like instill fear. It it was basically your dad being like, "I don't want to see." your fucking mom <laughs> hey if the lights are on you guys are gonna see me jacking off while i drive us home from disneyland i don't want to i don't want you guys to see my that my dick is out of the hole ooh. Ooh, I'm, what? Do, ooh, I'm doing sigma face because i can see chick-fil-a ooh. oh man look at it in all its ooh. glory Look at Chick Fil A in all its glory. Yeah, Ben said let's do Showing. a driving. <laughs> ben said we should do a driving app, and we said why. And he Are said, we going to Chick Fil A? Yeah, oh, we're gonna have God. someone from yeah. uh, that works at Chick Fil A on Hell the yeah. podcast. Okay, I, well, kill that, kill that uh, fucking Zarni of brother <laughs> that just walked by. That suspicious Sar- fucking weirdo, <laughs> Sarnayev. Or Sarnayev, whatever. yeah, he was hot though. I get why everybody. Wanted oh, they to gave fuck him, him the cover of Rolling Stone. Yeah, he was a real cutie. He was really cute. Yeah, but we Ben was like, we should do a driving podcast. We were like, why? And he's like, we can go to two drive throughs and do a bang bang. Ben's like, imagine us getting like fucking like milkshakes. Like that'd be that'd great. Be hilarious. Right. And this is how much Ben, like Ben secretly craves being fat, but he's not brave enough to embrace it. <laughs> I'm not brave yeah. enough. You're actually like a coward about I'm being capable fat. Of ben, extremes. once again, embrace modernity. Yeah. So you have to create schemes to get yeah. fat. Mm-hmm. You Let's have get- to, you created this podcast to get fat. Oh, That's look, it. Here we go. Here, look All right, here we go. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. We're faggots. Uh, my name's Ben. Uh, is that peach shake? Is that a seasonal thing? It is, right? Yeah. So is it? It's not in season anymore, is it? Uh, right. Because I saw like at like my farmers market, they don't have peach. The season's anymore. up, Ben. Yeah. The farmers market doesn't supply Chick Fil A. You fucking moron. You have an Oreo shake. You guys still have that, okay? <laughs> what are you kidding? Uh, I'm just gonna do the vanilla. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna behave tonight. The Oreo, it's like 300 more calories. Yeah, no, no. You, I'm gonna be. Yeah, be good. What, yeah. Uh, what do you get? You always want a Coke Zero? I'm fine. I had a lot of Coke Zero. Can at the I have house. a Coke Zero as well, yeah. Devin? I'm fine. I want a sandwich really bad, but I, I'm, uh, I'm can okay. Can I have a Chick Fil A sandwich? Uh, oh wow. Do you want a deluxe? You're really getting me one. Yeah, I'm gonna get one too. Give me a spicy deluxe. Uh, can I get a spicy deluxe combo? No, I don't want the fries or no, anything. Just give I me, do. give me. Okay, you get that. Yeah, and then nix the Coke Zero, and uh, make the Coke Zero for his meal. My Coke. Give yeah, me- you know what? Can I actually get a small Coke Zero as well? <laughs> I changed my mind. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, that's it. That's right. Very good. Right, and then another. Did you get a spicy deluxe too? Uh. No, I just wanted the drink. Oh, okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. There you are. You better not steal my spicy deluxe. Uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce? Yeah, do you guys want any sauce? Chick-fil-A sauce. Right I'm just there. having a Coke I'm okay, Zero, I'm okay. so okay. I don't need Chick-fil-A sauce. I don't need a sauce chaser for my Coke Zero. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Fuck gays. <laughs> Fuck gay people. They give us, like, extra. <laughs> <laughs> they go, hey, free order for the fuck gays. <laughs> no. If you show your Bible at Chick-fil-A, yeah. they give you $20. Can I tell you, I would rather pull my dick out in a library than do that again. What we just did. <laughs> pulling, up with mi- pulling up with <laughs> microphones and doing bits at, like, a fucking teenager. <laughs> Well, we Dude, were kind of hiding the mics. I don't think yeah. he knew the wiser. I was I was pointing at it the whole time because I think it's like those consent recording <laughs> laws. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like when you're recording somebody to try and get them to admit to a crime on the telephone. Now, literally, I wish I had a like a fucking shell around my head I could crawl into while we did that. No, this rocks. This is great. Just it embrace is pretty good. nothing meaning. I embrace I embraced it by asking for a Coke Zero. That was my version of letting my yeah. hair down. 
I'm glad Ben like drove off because I was about to order like two more sandwiches. Were yeah. you really? Oh yeah, because you had all the tequila and the Topo Chico. You're like, I'm hungry. I had a salad today. Well, yeah, you. That have was no, all I ate. No, but you have no prefrontal cortex. You've destroyed it through your hedonism. Yes. Me on the other hand, I, I, I'm like a monk. No, right. You're mm-hmm. a monk. That every gets decision you make. Ben's, like yeah. Ben's like a monk who has to set up a heist to get an Oreo yeah. shake every time we record. Yeah, you're Ronald McDonald, the monk. <laughs> Yeah. Ben's like, you know, we should do a podcast from the saturated fat factory. <laughs> We're like, Ben, just go get a go get a chicken sandwich by yourself and then we can record like normal humans. Fucking Morgan Spurlock yeah. over here. Yeah. I'd love if he was just like, You guys doing a podcast? I got a podcast. You know, I used to think that I didn't hold grudges, but I can name every fast food restaurant in the city of Los Angeles that has fucked up my order once and like I never forget it. Really? Which okay? And I always am worried that they're gonna fuck it up again. They fucked up my order here once. They put cheese on my spicy deluxe, and I asked for no cheese. You don't like cheese on your on your on any? I get cheese on on everything. No, 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 not on a Chick Fil A sandwich. That's disgusting. No, it's not. It ruins the flavor of the chicken. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You fucking mutt. (laughs) You fucking sick. You fucking you fucking Gentiles. (laughs) Fucking retard. Devin's gonna wait for us to hit fifty on the highway and just jerk the wheel. You're fu- Oh, che- cheese has never ruined anything. And then man. one time I had breakfast here and they brought me a sausage muffin instead of a sausage biscuit, which is there's a huge fucking difference. Mm, well, you should burn the place to the ground. Okay, I, I get that. I, I, obviously, I don't get mad with people. Oh, hello. Thank you. How you doing? Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Lemon party podcast by day, all night. <laughs> all right. Fuck gays. Yeah, they're like, yep. Yeah, this is the fourth <laughs> podcast we've had today. <laughs> They're like, yep, Ari Shafir and the boys just rolled through. So you got a small Coke Zero. I had a small Coke Zero, yes, thank you. Did they give you a little straw for that? Uh, Dude, I don't think we got straws. All right, what well. Fu- unless it's in Devin's bag. Devin, they give you straws? So I'm going to put... Uh, Two straws coming my, up. Here's my shake. Two straws, boss man. Okay, there's that. Take your straw. I mean, if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have any fun, let's be honest. Take your straw. Oh, oh, Jesus. That's good stuff. That is a good good. Coke Zero. No, I know what you mean. There's uh, Every time I've gone to McDonald's, I have a very specific fat McDonald's order, which is I get 20 chicken nuggets, and I, I, I have to say this into the window. I say, give me three hot mustard and three ranches, and I will pay for the extra sauces. And then they put, what they do is they always put one hot mustard, one ranch on the screen, and then I go, no, three of each. And I make them put it in. And then I get it in the bag. And sure enough, it's like one of like each. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've literally turned my car around and like gone, like marched in and showed them my receipt. And be like, I, you owe me four ranches of each. And they look at, they look <laughs> at me like, they look at me like I'm, I am Sam, just walked in. As I walk in all indignant and I go, a crime has been committed. So, they're like, yeah, we're going to need to see your, see your receipt for that. You, and you slap it on the yeah, table. I slap it on the table and break my wrist because I've been eating McDonald's for five years. Yeah. It's like a fat lawyer walking in. Where are we going, Ben? Let's go. F- Remember that last time we were driving in this car? We almost got shot by that mass shooter. We all yeah, duck. we we came upon like the uh, yeah. the caldera in uh, No Country for Old Men where like, you know. They had all the Mexican brown dope, and all the dogs were dead. We came upon a guy just trying to get some insulin <laughs> from, from his from his health. Yeah, we center. we uh, we drove into a John Q situation. Oh, a Porsche dealership. Well, there you go. You know what's funny is as the country, as the economy continues to like get worse and worse, and things become more bleak, you could have a No Country for Old Men style movie, but like the briefcase has thirty dollars in it. Yeah. It's like it's like thirty five dollars. Okay, he's risky his, his entire life, yeah. putting yeah. his family in danger. He just found a wallet yeah. in a Brooks Brothers outlet shop. It's no country for old men over a lotto ticket that hasn't they they don't know the info about it yet. It hasn't come out yet. It's just a lotto ticket. Yeah, from like last year, so mm-hmm. it's not even valid. Yeah. yeah, it expired. It's a guy with it's Luella Moss with thirty five dollars, and he's like, I'm fixing to do something dumb as hell. I'm about to buy an eight piece at KFC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what you got in those three pieces of paper in your hand? Polynesian like. sauce. <laughs> you ask any more questions, I'm gonna take you in the back and fuck your stupid pussy. 
What a city. What a beautiful city. Wow. Yeah. Greek market, Pioli's. We got to go up this way more often. Mm. That to. place sucks ass. I went there with my wife. Los Angeles loves waffles, that place? It was called Ann Waffles or some yeah, shit. Yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck any fucking <laughs> place on the West Coast <laughs> doing the waffle and chicken thing, okay? It was really bad. I make better uh, fried chicken and waffles at home. Mm-hmm. Well, we know. You're fucking, yeah. you're, you're a big fan of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you go down to your basement and have them make it real quick. <laughs> yeah. That's how you get that chicken all nice. You <laughs> sick bastard. <laughs> you fuck. Yeah. You go tell Margaret to make it for you. I, I stand up at the top of the uh, the stairs to the basement. I'm fingering my belly button. Mm-hmm. I'm like, ah, which one of you is going to dip the chicken in the yeah. egg batter? Yeah. You're like the, the guy that owned the and house in Barbarian. Yeah. 1940. You walk down, you go, all right, stop singing Wade in the Water. We need some waffles. Quick. Man, I, it's just car dealerships, huh? I should probably, by the way, I'm going to get out of the car real quick. Why? Uh, I'm just gonna leave the car where wherever I want and just start walking. <laughs> <laughs> I would say what that be if I did that. By the you way, just yeah. wander. We yeah. go. I guess that's the end of the show. Yeah. I, just, I just start wandering we, in traffic. We have to drive back and be like, yeah, I think Ben um just left you. It'd be crazy if I died this way. I stepped out of the car right now and I died. Yeah, died podcasting. I got hit by a Rolls Royce. Died in the content wars. I'm just going to check to see if it's recording. But I have to look through the front of the car, through the right, windshield. Right, right, still, right. And I don't want to do like a like a death-proof thing where I climb onto the hood of the car. To go see ahead, go ahead. Go, go, mm-hmm. go check. Yeah, go check. Go walk go in front check. of this Captain America tire cover right yeah. here. Okay. Owned by, I know they, they can't see it on the thing, but there's a white fucking Jeep with yeah. a Captain America shield By the way, everybody, Ben's cover. lying. There's like a hooker walking by, <laughs> and Ben is, is propositioning her, and he's he's going, are you going to be here like later? Yeah. He goes, I'm doing a podcast. I'll be back later. <laughs> you want to go to Red Lobster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're good. Ben would, good? Be the, ben would be the guy who'd take a hooker to Red Lobster. Oh, yeah. Like, he needs to make a date of it, or it's too unclean. Okay. All right. Back to the road, Ben. Very... Very good. Very right. good. Keep Very driving. Good. I'm excited to see uh, this neighborhood. Oh, I mean, the valley, it's it's beautiful. The Copper Mine. All these places, is just, this is every guy at any one of these places is with his mistress. <laughs> it's a, it's a yeah. Thursday at 11 p.m. Yeah, he told his wife he's doing a late night at the office. There's a fat we burger. Here, you know Tyler, the creator's there burger. just just fucking tormenting <laughs> fucking employees there. Well, I love, we just drove past the fat. I love, this is the great thing about the Valley is that it, it really is America unmasked because it's just car dealerships and restaurants called like fat fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, that's our country. It's a Lexus dealership next to a fat fuckers chain restaurant. Yep. And there's an Amazon Go place for everyone to buy their ring lights. Mm-hmm. So they can, you know. And there's a bus stop you drive past, and there's three. Turn your lights back on, maybe. Oh, yeah, right. There's a bus stop you drive past full of, like, three 80-year-old Mexican women who are just, like, you know. Mm-hmm. They're taking the bus to the desert to go die under a rock. And they go, I, 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 I clean I clean the hills. I clean. I, did, I go up to the house, and I eat the shit. Mr. Johnson, he he thought I stole his pen. He made me come back. It's my is my my my, my newborn's birthday. He made me drive back three hours to show him that I did not steal his pen. Mister, I go there every Tuesday because he fuck his mistress at Fat Burger, <laughs> and he said I need to I need to clean calm out of Porsche. And he said I stole his Porsche pin he got from the sales event. That's a good Dunkin'. It sucks ass. Mm. Yeah, it you like know shit. what I mean by that. Of yeah. course, I love when a Dunkin'. That means sucks it's a great ass. Dunkin'. Yeah. It used to be a bank. I've, Clearly, the ceilings are too tall. the The woman behind the counter, she has one eye. Yeah, I yeah. love it in there. I've gone into Dunkin' before and it looks too good, and I walk out. <laughs> yeah, I go none of that. I, I wanted a cake ball that's like looks like granite. <laughs> I wanted I wanted a bear claw that looks like it's made out of caliche, yeah. wet caliche pushed pushed together. I'd like to open up a Boston Cream savings account. <laughs> God, Ventura Boulevard. It's like my Sunset Boulevard. Mm. I'm gonna make a film called Ventura Boulevard. It'll like be it, my Mulholland Drive. Yeah, and it'll be way better, even if you filmed it on the iPhone. <laughs> God damn you, David. Yeah, he stinks. He fucking hate her. <laughs> fucking hater cock. By the way, speaking of uh, like having like a maid and stuff. Yeah. If I became like really rich, I think what I would start doing is Caligula style stuff, but but like only stuff that would make me laugh. Like 
I would want to salary a maid. I'd want to shut off the water to my home, and I salary a maid to eat all of my shit out of the toilet. <laughs> I ref- How much would I, you I pay? I say it's a no flush house, <laughs> and all the shit that I that comes out of my ass must be eaten with a spoon. <laughs> From the bowl. Right. And you give her, you've planned out just enough money where mm. she can't turn it down, but it still really hurts her inside. No, it's $30,000. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's sending half of it back home to her family right. in like Columbia. And she doesn't, she can find a better paying job, but you've call, you've threatened to call ice on her. That's the only reason she's doing the job. Yeah. And when you tell her about it, she goes, oh, not again. Because it's happening all over the city with her. <laughs> Like this is my. She works so. This is my third job. I eat shit. Oh no! And what is with the white people in the valley? Oh, these white people, they got Bitcoin. They went crazy. Oh, what the fuck is Shacktoberfest? It's Shaquille O'Neal and he's holding a pumpkin. It's where you, uh, you enter a contest for Shaq to fuck your wife. <laughs> You literally, it's like a ten dollar. You pay ten dollars, put your name in, and then Shaq draws. It okay, out. boys, I think we found our next bang bang because we're, we're cruising right now. I don't want to go to Jack in the Box, dude. Don't do that. They have a great Oreo shake, and it's oh, four thousand calories. Ben, shake, if we go, if we go to, but it's about to be done. Keep ben. going further. Let's yeah. like, go as far as we can go. I mean, like I didn't even know. I didn't even know the street kept going. If you Me go, neither. If you go to a Jack in Box, there was like a video game where it just sort of stops. Yeah. If you go to a Jack in Box, the employees will steal our recording equipment. That's how shitty Jack in yeah. the Boxes are. They go, they're recording on a catalytic converter. <laughs> hey, straight up though, those tacos, they, they they be smacking. Yeah, they be smacking. Dude. They're the most eaten food in America. Is it true? Jack in the Box tacos. Oh yeah, that's yeah. actually really sad. Yeah, well that proves. I mean, that's why we look like that. I think we're doing just fine. Mm-hmm. It's the only taco I've ever seen with sweat on it. Yeah, the taco comes with a headband. <laughs> I just realized I'm probably slurping it in the mic. Oh, I don't know. I can't hear much. Oh, okay. There's a bowling alley. Should we go there and shoot it up? <laughs> Should we go bowling and then shoot up a high school at Ooh, 7 a.m.? Dad, I want <laughs> to shoot up the bowling alley. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> I have my rifle in the trunk. I want to go bowling. Yeah, riding Santa. I want a gun to kill my teacher. <laughs> A Christmas story. Yeah, but he wants but Ralphie to kills his whole class yeah. he with keep, the BB he gun. He keeps asking for a gun, but they're like, "You'll shoot your teacher's brains out." He's like, "No, I won't. I promise." Santa is like, "You'll shoot your class up." <laughs> <laughs> they push him down the push slide. Down. <laughs> Ooh, nice little twisty part. I don't even know where we are now. We're like. I've never been this far west on Ventura Boulevard before in my life. This is Crazy. nuts. It's just yeah. there's a McDonald's across the freeway. No, this is fucking insane. This is nuts. Yeah, this is neck and fuds. What, what is that, the 101? Yeah. It would be great if we accidentally ended up in Skid Row and got pulled out of the car. <laughs> we <won't. laughs> Just got eaten by, <laughs> like, zombies. <laughs> totally wrong way. Yeah. Make a right here, baby. Oh, I guess it just ended. We're in Mulholland Drive! Oh, let's go to Mulholland Drive! Woo! We're gonna go to Mulholland Drive! Woo! Beautiful. You you get on Mulholland and drive because you think you'll see two hot chicks fucking each other. Mm-hmm. That's the whole Devin. If the movie's so bad, why does that lady with hot titties fuck Naomi Watts? Huh? Oh, yeah, I mean that was great. I loved that nice. part. Yeah. I loved that part. I saw it in film school. I started jacking off to that part in the class. But <laughs> fucking retard. The rest yeah. of the movie stinks. And it's a big U turn. Here we go. Oh. That's been easy. And I do love Lynch because he's he is such a horny guy. So a lot of people don't know that about him. So, you know, he was just like, and the, the lady singing it represents the young and unconscious. And then we're going to have the two ladies fuck each other. <laughs> and that's just for me. That's a little treat for David. I honestly don't even remember the movie that well. I just remember hating it with all my heart. But I was 19. So I'll rewatch it. Should I rewatch it tonight, Ben? No, no. Watch, watch Blue Velvet. Watch uh, um, The Elephant Man. Blue Velvet watch, just uh, looked like shots of, of tall grass. Tall grass. What even was going it's on? It's not tall grass. It's regular grass, but he's so close. The it tall looks grass tall. is the best actor in the movie. <laughs> it's like how, Devin, let me explain something to you. That isn't Yoda from very far away. That's baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to say yeah. to you right His now? His name is baby Yoda. Well, yo, that like, but that's like Yoda from like really far away. A buff- that's a before. That's a after Yoda. Yeah. So you know how like, <laughs> you know how like if you fuck your cousin, like a little cousin comes out like nine months later. That's like, 
<laughs> like canonically, that means that the Yoda, they like say, they say canonically, canonically, <laughs> like metaphorically, like there's like a hot lady Yoda with a pussy. I've been in that Taco Bell. It's good. You've driven this far for a taco for that Taco Bell. Oh yeah, I've lived many lives. What is going on <laughs> with you? Well, this is you talking? You're to your about daughter. to be a father. Yeah. You can't be t- saying stuff like that out loud. I had a Mexican waiter. At Taco uh, Bell? No, today I had a Mexican waiter. That's the end of the story. Oh, wow. He, he goes, <laughs> hey, by the way, what a surprise. <laughs> yeah, Ben's like, you'll never believe who was washing my dishes at the restaurant. <laughs> my Mexican waiter noticed Katie was pregnant, and he asked, boy or girl? And he said, that's mine. <laughs> He's like, Shit. Yeah, that's my white baby. Uh, we said we were having a girl, and he goes, nice, nice. I have uh, three kids. I have a t- 21-year-old. 15 and a 3. And we go, oh, that's sweet. And he was 24 years old. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I'm 9 years old. And we were kind of staring at him for a beat. And he kind of said, and then he finally, I swear to God, he said, it's all with the same woman. And I was like, <laughs> oh, he like, he explained. I was like, no, I know. I know you're Hispanic, but you know, you know, I, 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 I didn't assume it wasn't. You go, I know you're Hispanic. I didn't think you were black. <laughs> He goes, I just want you to let you know I'm not black. I know I'm he very dark. They're all with the same woman. I know we had a lot, but like it wasn't with separate women. Yeah. I, I am not a black. No, I, got, I went to the beach. I got a tan. I'm not black. Don't yeah. worry. How do we even get to Mulholland Drive? I think it's too long, buddy. I think we're, um, I think we're like in the, like we're heading towards Malibu right now. Yeah, let's just drive into the beach. Let's have the podcast in with us sinking into the ocean. Yeah, we should. Like the end of Drive. Yeah. We should all just like kill each other at the, in the waves. We all, we go to Home Depot, get hammers to beat ourselves to death on the podcast. Yeah. Just repent for all of our sins. I should start juicing these Marce- Maraschino cherries so I can just get all the red dye out of it and then just take it like a, a shot. It, 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 pro- it probably is the same as like drinking vodka or something if you just drink red dye 40. Yeah, just cut to the chase. Yeah. It'd be funny if you, like, you relapsed on Jankum. <laughs> like, you start, like, sniffing your daughter's diapers and, like, like you, you, like, leave them out in the sun. You start getting all high on them. Yeah, you have a diaper genie and you're just staring at it, shaking. You're like, I know I shouldn't, but... I have whipped cream all over my glass. <laughs> One of the listeners is going to jack off to this because it looks like... Cum. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. I think at least one listener jacks off to every episode we've done. That's why we do it. Yep. That was delicious. Mm-hmm. There's one listener, I was telling you guys probably, there's one listener who every episode he uh, he DMs me a video of him listening to the podcast and then the camera turns on him and he's like sitting in a big diaper in like a rat's nest. <laughs> in a room that I swear to God is somehow one foot by one foot. <laughs> His room, he sends me this, yeah. every episode yeah. he sends me, the, and it's it's a room so small I can somehow see all four walls at no. the same time. No, his roommate is an electron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got evicted by a roach. <laughs> his landlord is a big roach with a cigar, and he goes, hey, dude, it's already the 10th. Tomorrow's already the 10th, dude. God damn it, Chick-fil-A, you've done it again. This Coke Zero is a delight. What, didn't you have a shake? What was your shake? Vanilla. What a fucking, oh my God. Yeah, I love vanilla. That's it? That's all you got? Now? And can I go on record here? Did I just cut that car off? No, nobody cares. May I go on record here? Oh, we're in Topanga Canyon now. How lovely. Yeah. We're at the Topanga Town Center. This is where uh, Charles Manson did anal for the first time. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> I want to go on record here. Chocolate sucks ass. I hate chocolate shakes. They suck. They suck my ass. Uh, is that a dog whistle you're dropping there? Yeah, that's that's a really. <laughs> yeah, I think thing. we. Uh, we know what you call chocolate. Shakes. Yeah, you have a tattoo called Vanilla Power on your back. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, hey, loud and clear, buddy. By the way, did you know Rocket Power was not in Hawaii? It was in California. Really? Really? Wait, what? Yeah, someone told me that the other day. Oh shit! Jesus God damn Christ, it, Ben! Man. I'm trying to drive on my knee. Well. Stop holding your fucking yeah, just put Coke, the Coke Zero. I don't want to. Dr- I don't want to die because you're drinking a Coke Zero. Jesus Christ! God you. damn! Like I- fucking retard James <laughs> Dean. 
For the love of God, this is a windy road. Yeah, Get ben, it together. we're on Mulholland Drive. Come it's on. the windiest road in Pretend LA. Pretend you're Polanski trying to drive back to that sweet, sweet jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. that primed, young fucking piece of veal. Yeah, Ben would be Leo's character in Once a Time in Hollywood, but he's making shakes <laughs> in the blender. <laughs> Not margaritas, just Yeah, shakes. yelling at Tax because he thinks he's an Indian guy. Dude, these turns are fucking wild, and this car's right in my ass. Yeah, well, Ben, just give me your diet. Give me your oh, Coke there is zero. A guy. there is a guy in our ass right now. This is like dual. Is he a cop? <laughs> No, no, it's not a cop. What the fuck? He's trying to go around me in the in the median. I no, no, like block he's him. Run us off the road. Block him. Don't Is that let a Rolls Royce. Him. Don't let him go around. Don't him. let him. This is a nice car. This is fucking weird. No, he's just riding her ass. It's not. It's really not that weird. Yeah, he's just an asshole. Dude, this is like the scene from Lost Highway right now. I should I should pull him over and like stick a gun in his mouth and call him a cocksucker. <laughs> Dude, this is literally a scene out of Lost Highway right now. Yeah. Like we're on a mountainside right now, Topanga Canyon Boulevard. Yeah, he's we're shining on. his high beams at me. This is this LA- little cocksucker. This is LAPD, L- Los Angeles Podcast Patrol. <laughs> Wait, is this a cop? No. Oh no, is this a cop? It's not a cop. Because I've been driving weird with my knee and drinking Coke Zero it's, on podcasting. No, it's not a cop. Oh, look at the look at that guy. They're definitely Ooh. fucking. Yeah, that guy's nice. getting his dick that sucked by a whore. Hey, Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. Am I right? <laughs> hey, there's another one. Ooh. That guy's cutting himself. <laughs> what an interesting yeah. street. Yeah, that cop bangs on his window and goes, "Hey, this is the blowjob part of the road. <laughs> you can't, you can't cut hey, here." Hey, hey, hey! Apparently, a lot of kids in like Malibu High School and like Topanga Canyon High School, a lot of them kill themselves that are suicidal by jumping off of these uh, cliffs. Here, it's mm. pretty common. Good, good. Keep driving with your knees, then. Good. Maybe we can hit one tonight. <laughs> this is beautiful up here. There's all these like uh, weird uh, like occult churches and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, these are the, this yeah. is classic LA. But... I love driving through Mahal and driving just knowing there's a woman chained up in a basement every yeah. 100 feet from you. Mm-hmm. It's really beautiful. How do you? Th- how many people do you think like get sacrificed around this time of year in like the name of you know uh, like Satan, you know the Prince of Darkness and whatnot? Like people getting skinned alive. People like getting their foot boiled in a big pot, and then like people sucking the toes off like Vienna sausages and shit. You think it's happening a lot? Like yeah. human sacrifice, like they're actually eating kids and like drinking their blood honestly, and like sucking their pee pee. Honestly, in, like in the Coldwater Canyon, Mulholland Drive, I think they're all just they're all too high. They're not doing that. They're yeah. raping for sure. But yeah, like, they're not. <laughs> yeah, we're doing we're doing they're doing good old fashioned yeah. American yeah. rape. It's, it's classic rape. Yeah. It's like it's it's it's, it's Americana. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is funny if you talk to those Q guys and if you're like, hey, there's not really that much cult kid fucking. They're just raping like 17 year old yeah. girls, and they're like, oh. Okay, well that's cool. Forget it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're on the default settings. You're on Hollywood default. <laughs> Get off my fucking ass, retard. No, this is fun. This is fun. This is fun. He's really riding us. It's really. It's this. It's actually kind of. Um, it's starting to get Dude, kind of eerie. Someone hasn't rode me this hard in uh, since oh. uh, since last <laughs> night. <laughs> Very good. Because you're gay. Because you're gay. That was the joke. And then. you have gay sex. Fuck you, asshole. Suck my suck the shit out of my ass and lick it. He can't really and go around it. either because it's so windy. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Like, what is his like intention? Yeah, what's his game plan? That you're like, oh, okay, I'll start going eighty then. Right. Because this guy's on my it's fucking interesting. ass. Fucking nuts. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of hate this. It really does feel like we're going to die. It right feels now. like it feels like we're in like a sinister movie. Right yeah. Now we started off all like, hey, let's just take the mics into the car. <laughs> we all wind up dead. <laughs> Yeah, we feel we figure out our entire existence. We're actually we're in a Kevin Smith movie the whole time. <laughs> we thought we were real, but we're just we exist in a Kevin Smith like Tusk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. No, it's being yeah. John Malkovich, but we're inside Kevin Smith's head. Oh God, this guy really is kind of like he. You know how difficult it is to stay this close to a bumper. It's actually like it takes a lot of work. I kind of want to slow down to five miles an hour to see. You what should happens. brake check him. No, no you, don't break check him. People will kill you now. Every video on Twitter is someone open firing in their car, and then it's always the stand your ground law, where yeah. like a guy gets cut off by a little old lady, and he steps out of his car with an AR-15 and unloads a clip into the side of her car. Yeah. Did and you see the makes her turns her into Swiss cheese? Did you see the lawyer in Panama today? 
Yeah, the guy that shot up the stop oil protest. Yeah, yeah. There was a stop oil protest where they were blocking the highway, and you just see this like eighty year old like white dude with a beard and glasses. Like white beard, he's walking out of his car. Like, in a, oh, there's video of it. I just saw a picture. I of saw it. the picture. I didn't. I don't look at the videos because it's like you know. Oh, I would have. I want to. That video is like that's amazing. It's an amazing. He's picture. a hero. Tonight. Yeah, it's an amazing picture. They have like an award-winning photograph of him like shooting an oil protest. And you in see the, the bullet by his head, like the shell by his head, and he has no he has no fear. He doesn't even look stressed out by what he's doing. He looks like Guillermo del Toro, by the way. He just, I know. It, it looks like a fifty cent promotional picture, but for like an accountant. It's so strange. <laughs> it looks, yeah, get Richard Die Trying. Yeah, it would be get Richard Die Trying, but with like a fat 80 year old white dude. So we're basically going through Topanga Canyon in Malibu right now, and I just want to salute, share, and everybody who's fucked up on every pill imaginable and all the booze in the world that can navigate these roads night after night. God bless them. These yeah. are, th- th- this is a really tough drive right now. And they're doing it, fuck, they're doing yeah. it like, you know, Matthew Perry boiling like a lobster in his hot tub. Just, yeah, it's this really is really crazy. This is really the drunk driving masters going through Topanga Canyon. It's really the best of the best. It is. It's the .01% of drunk driving. Yeah. I've literally, I would like to be able to, like, have a drunk driving, like, contest to see just how good I was at it. Oh, yeah. Because I think I was really good at it, but that could just be me drunk, like, fucking... Wolf of Wall Street plowing into like kids and Can I say an unpopular stuff. opinion right now? What's no. that? I actually think if you're bad at drunk driving, it's just because you're retarded. Yeah, I think it I don't may- think it has anything to do with you being drunk. If you care about being a good person, that's yeah. Brokeback Mountain right there, two trucks parked on the side of the road. <laughs> and Devin's right. They're if you have beings. empathy, yeah. you get drunk and you go, All right, I'm fucked up, but yeah, like, gotta, I'm not like, a monster. I gotta, yeah, I gotta do this right. I gotta you get this right. You get locked in. Yeah, it's about the mentality of the drunk driver. <laughs> like they, that guy is already an asshole. Mm-hmm. You know, let, let's be honest. It should be legal. Like, <laughs> no, yeah. one time when I was drunk driving, I like turned down a one way, and I was driving down it for like you know forty five seconds before I even realized that what was going all on. The time to people, come on! I did that. I did that yesterday, and I was sober. That's how I get here every week. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> testing. Check one, two, test. And checking one, two, test. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ad section of the podcast. Uh, Displate. I love this guy over at Displate. He's a, an amazing man. Uh, figuring out the perfect gift for someone can be hard, but not anymore. With Displate... You can turn anyone's hobby, passion, or even their most embarrassing photo into a high-quality metal poster. Disc plates take just 20 seconds to install and won't damage your house. They won't damage your house, folks. Uh, Trust me, I have them in my kitchen. Uh, I have them in the studio just next to the baby room here, which I do wish the studio was farther from this room, but what are you going to do? I'll buy her noise-canceling headphones. They come with a magnet that you stick to the wall. Then the disc plate sticks to the magnet. It's easy as that. Uh, with licensed designs from brands like Star Wars and Stranger Things and all the sports teams you love, this plate has what you need to make the season bright. Let me get this plate here so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. It's one of the finest... Uh, uh, it's an asset that I own. These are my assets. This in the the crib here. It's a it's a beautiful thing though. I've met, I have a Lord of the Rings one. I have a Aliens one with the green egg. I have one of a bunny on it, uh, and it says it says under the it's a big fat bunny holding a little baby chicken, and it says different is beautiful under it. I put that up in the kitchen. That one was for my wife. She loves it. And, you know, that's the thing. Like, you know, you can get these for you and uh, uh, get some for your wife, too, or your girlfriend or your fiancé or your uh, grandmother who's a cadaver who's rotting in your basement in a rocking chair that you uh, talk to every day and pretend is still alive. Save up to 30%. When you click the link in the show notes, that's 30% off. Discount will be automatically applied to your cart when you click the link. 
or use code lemon when you visit display.com that's display.com code lemon or click the link in the show notes support the show click the link in the description guys and use code lemon to get 30 percent off thank you display it this episode is sponsored by blue chew let's talk about sex guys remember the days when you were always ready to go Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, bluechew.com. And folks, you really want to pay attention to this if you're like me and you're having a child and the pheromones that are being released by your wife is lowering your testosterone. And when the baby is born, it will uh, plummet and then never recover to the level it was previously at. You need to take stuff like this. You can't let nature win. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but is chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. Take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead. Be ready whenever an opportunity arises. Because a lady, a lovely lady comes like a thief in the night. We all know that verse in the Bible. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Best part, it's all done online. No visits to the doctor's office. No awkward conversations. No waiting in line at the pharmacy. I mean, you go to the doctor now, they're trying to push all this hullabaloo on you, you know, telling your, uh, you know, saying, you know, why aren't you going to let make your child get the hepatitis B vaccine? It's all this nonsense. It's not necessary. They don't need the vitamin K shot. They don't need any of that. They'll be fine. The best part, it's all done online. And they're made in the USA and prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package. Does it work? Don't think you need it? Try it for free for a month and see. You're going to love it. I mean, what do you, you have nothing to lose here. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. We've got a special deal for the listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code LEMON at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. Folks, that's five. That's bluechew.com promo code LEMON to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. This really never ends, does it? This windy shit. And this fucking freak is still behind us. I think we're about to pop out to the ocean here. Aren't we? Or maybe like twenty more minutes? Yeah, I think we got a way. I think we got a ways more to go. Yeah, this is really the worst uh, road to be uh, podcasting down. These hills really are very sinister. A lot of weird stuff happened up here. Back yeah, well, sixties and seventies. There's a lot of lot of weird stuff happened. Up yeah, there. well, to be a person where you're living in LA, like one of the most densely populated cities in America, and you somehow have a situation where you could kill somebody in your backyard, yeah, and no one would hear the screams, yeah. is wildly sinister. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This is where a lot of people they like play they 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 played guitar and it like summoned the devil. <laughs> These are the devil hills. Yeah, it's, it's people who go, I want to get so good at producing comedies that um, the devil talks to me. Yeah. I kind of went off to a place while you guys were talking about that, and I thought about the idea of, like, fucking someone, like, covered in blood, and it doesn't turn me off. No. Because uh, it's just... um because it's just blood. I mean, who's grossed out by that? It's just blood. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you rather drink someone's, like, blood than drink someone's pee? Um, I'd probably rather drink the pee. Yeah, I think I'm going yeah, piss on that fuck. one. Yeah, you're a sick fuck. I can't believe freak. you're about to have a kid in a month and a half. <laughs> it's actually, like, the state should take the baby away from you. You should be put in some sort of, like, like correctional facility. You should be treated like, like he got game. Like, Denzel Washington... <laughs> I can't believe you're about to have a kid and you're doing this right now. I know. Also, just the fact we're talking about like Mulholland Drive and you pause and go, you know what? I think I want to fuck somebody covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's truly disgusting. Or fake blood, you know? No, you meant blood. You meant blood. Well, you sick fuck. So here's what's interesting, right? <clears throat> Is the first colors we were able to see, <clears throat> obviously the first was uh, black. Oh, my alarm's are going off. Uh, the first was black and then white, right? Mm. Those were the first two colors because it signifies night and day. Then the th- uh, the third color that we came to know immediately after that 
that the human eye developed to see was uh, red. Mm -hmm. This sounds like you're Leo and Django Unchained, but go ahead. <laughs> and we created a, and you know, these are, you know, we created words for these colors and identified these colors and we could see them. Red signifying like danger, it's blood. It's, uh, it's mostly just blood, but it means danger, right? You know, cavemen and stuff, they see blood or whatever. Uh, then eventually, way down the line, we finally developed a word for blue. Like, way, like, because after that, after red was like green and all that stuff. And uh, so, what I'm, and by the way, I'm right about all this. I know you guys think I sound retarded. No, but it sounds, I didn't, sounds, I didn't, yeah, you No, I know, I know the blue thing. Like, there's people who yeah. think we used to not be able to see blue because. It doesn't appear in like ancient texts until like the year two hundred for yeah, some reason, and it, it is partly that, but it also is like some cultures still to this day do not recognize blue as a color, and there's a lot of theories that if you ask a kid what color the sky is, they don't say it's blue. What do they say? I think they say it's. Um, I think they say purple. I think they say purple or so. I forget. I, I was reading about this the other day, but they many kids actually don't say blue. We learn to think of the sky as blue, apparently. So we just made up the names of colors, basically. Some cultures don't think blue's a color. They think we're retarded. They think it's like a, a variation of purple, I believe. Or so, it's not a variation of purple. They think it's like light purple. They don't uh -huh. think it's. They don't recognize it as a primary color the way. So we do. was this about how it's okay to fuck people covered in blood? Yeah. Cause if it's, cause it's like the most primal thing, right? If someone's covered in blood, it's like, oh, it's like danger and stuff. It's just, it's basically like, like I don't know if it's, I don't know what I'm trying to say, basically. Right. But no, we I, we got that. Yeah, this is, you, dude. You're like you're Donald <laughs> Sterling and his the, the court transcripts. This is literally. Have you ever read Donald Tr Sterling's court transcripts where it's just him going like? I mean, I fuck a lot of women. I like to fuck them in the ass. I fuck them in the mouth. I enjoy. Sometimes I'll fuck them in the feet. And he goes on this long rant. He's and so the horny doctor. Yeah, yes. and the yeah. lawyer and the lawyer literally goes. He goes. I asked you, do you own a couple cars? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just. It's literally he went on this long rant that ended in him being like, "When you fuck the pussy, when it gets really wet, that's you with the color yeah. red." No, just a lady blood. covered in red paint. That's what I meant. No. Don't twist my you words. Mad blood. You're yeah. sick for Don't twist my words by free. taking me, you know, by interpreting no. exactly I think, what I said. I think we drove past Mulholland Drive and it reminded you of the sick fantasies you try to push down with shakes at Chick fil A. Dude, I do wonder, like, what is, like, way deep down there? Like, what am I into and I don't even know? What and do you I'll mean? just never know. You're, well, like, there's that shadow way deep down there. And it, I'll never, like, it will never be actualized. I'll never actually know what's way deep down there. Way, way fucking deep down. Like, what if I'm gay? <laughs> yeah. I had that. I had the first time. Like, what I if did... I'm like a sissy gay guy? <laughs> I had that. I had that. <laughs> like a little white dog. Gay oh, not guy. E not even a cool gay guy. Little white dog that looks like shit and has crust in its yeah. eyes. Gay what if guy. you're the bottom? <laughs> yeah. You're what, like, what if I'm the bottom? You're like, exactly what if I'm a heaven? gay slut? <laughs> I'm not even a gay prude. I'm a real slutty bottom. <laughs> No, I had that the first time I did mushrooms. This car's still on my ass, by oh, the way. Oh, dude, it's crazy. It's like it's movie level. This is movie level Taylor. Well, they're lighting the set for us. Go on, Jason. Yeah, it's actually great. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, he's probably just he's probably on the phone with the cops. Like, yeah, they're still podcasting. I think. <laughs> I think like, they just said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is in the main episode. We we met, we riffed about OJ Chase podcasting <laughs> for saying the N word. This is what's yeah, actually this happening. This is actually what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. He's like he's in the, he's looking in our rearview mirror through his, his window. He's like, I think they're doing a bit about blood and colors. <laughs> I don't know. They've really gone off. The, the driver rails. seems to be making an incoherent point. No, they're talking about the history of colors. Yeah, I they, think it's racist. Yeah, no, I, th I think. <laughs> yep, it's looking like this is going to be the Patreon episode. <laughs> yep, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're sending two cars. We'll be there right away. We're sending two. No, I remember um, the first time I did mushrooms. Me and Noah, went, our friend Noah, went up to the hills in Malibu, and I was very—I don't know why—I was very worried. I was like, "What if I take? We take mushrooms and we fuck each other." You were really in the hills. <laughs> I was very, I was very, I'm not even kidding. I was very worried about that. You thought you guys would just be like, oh, we're actually gay. <laughs> no, that's what I'm seriously. <laughs> I've never done it. I was like, what if it unlocks some secret pulled back <laughs> thing? And dude, like, we literally, like, what if it unlocks my ass? <laughs> Dude, I literally was playing this thing in my head of like just us like sitting in chairs being like, 
Yeah, I don't think I think I think it's starting to kick in, and then smash cut to us just like fucking each other, <laughs> like just railing each other in the dirt in the hills of Malibu. <laughs> Using soil as lube. Yeah, yeah, it, we just, yeah, it just completely changes the nature of us, you know? Right. We never, we can never talk. I, I kill Noah because I'm worried he's going to tell people well, he fucked like, me in the ass while we were on mushrooms. But this is the thing <laughs> Carl Young and those guys were obsessed with where, where Young said if you could fully cross, you know, your shadow over, that would be your goal for your life, but it's, it's completely <laughs> impossible. I don't know if I don't, like... Let's say one day I'm walking down the street mm-hmm. and uh, a woman uh, lands, you know, she goes splat like one of those David Letterman fruit that he threw off of a building sure. in front of me. And I just come immediately in my pants, comes dripping down Cause into my Because she died? Because she fell? Because she what? Because she died. Because she died and you come. Yeah. I see her. She goes, ah! And I look up and she's screaming and falling. And as she's screaming, I'm looking up. I'm getting rock hard, mm. watching her fall towards. And then you realize yeah. you have you have a get big getting thrown off of a building. Finish. Yeah. Well, yeah. Th- I mean, that's, that's a real thing that I think has happened to people. If you think about it, like there could be somebody, <laughs> there could be somebody who their whole life they think they're like a normal guy. They work at like TD Ameritrade, and then one day their grandma's dying of cancer. They're saying goodbye to her in the hotel room, and the minute the heart machine goes boop they get a raging boner out of nowhere that's awesome. right and they have to go do i and then they have to go deal with that yeah they're like do, am i horny for my dead grandma like yeah. what's like and then they so then they just follow that feeling to see where that goes possibly just, that's why you got to figure possibly. that out i think they she either, dies yeah you i think you fuck th- your grandma yeah i think you either follow that feeling and you end up to being a dead grandma fucker or you just push it down and then one day you kill your whole family while they're eating breakfast Devin, you know how there's doulas? I, I explained to you there's doulas, right? What is that again? A doula is someone who assists in bringing uh, your child into the world. They prepare you for parenthood and w- what uh, giving birth is going to be like and oh, all right. the questions you might have. They're like a Sherpa for being a person? Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Okay. A pussy Sherpa. Pussy Sherpa, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also death doulas, which uh, a, a, just a person that basically sits by your bedside and uh, tends to help you, you transition. You know, helps you transition into the afterlife. Interesting. And what do they know about that? I don't know, but I think they have. They're just I probably mean, like Peruvian and and white people go. Oh, they're different, so yeah. they know about death. <laughs> yeah, no, we used to conquer them a lot and kill them, so they must know about death. And once in a while, they go. Oh, but that, but that, but that. And then white people go, oh, they are death. They know death. Be my doula. Yeah, it's uh, it's they're wh- spiritual. It's white people who saw the scene in Meet Joe Black where he speaks like Creole to that lady, mm-hmm. and they go, I need a black woman when yeah. I die. Here's the thing: white people think uh, anyone but them has like magical powers. Mm-hmm. You know, it's uh, really a self hatred. White thing. people think Native. You go to that's what white people they go to like New Mexico and they get like Native American beads and they get the dream catchers and they they they, they think they're magical. They okay, think Indian people fact. are magical. Is he the literally two, not going he's to still pass? Still not passing you. When we it's, get to the two lane, two lane, he's not passing. Me. No, he loves this. He loves this. Yeah, he's probably jacking off right now. He's rock hard. Oh are damn! We, are we at the it, beach? That's the ocean. We're in we're in Malibu. Right? Isn't now. that the that's ocean? That's PCH. Yeah, yeah. Nice, Ben. Hell yeah, man. Let me let me pull over here in Malibu right, and check to see if it's still recording. Is this a firework stand? What is this? You know, one time I saw Russell Brand parked right there, and he was the hottest lady I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, and he it, raped the shit out he, of her. He kept <laughs> leaning over like this in the car, like doing this. Like he was like raping Well, he was her. sucking her dick? He was sucking her dick. I think he was sucking on her tits. Well, good for him. It rules to look like that and have the hottest woman in your life sucking you off. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you, are you checking He's the checking the, the checking camera, the yeah. Camera. PCH, baby. Pacific Ghost. Crazy. It really kind of sucks coming down. You can't see the ocean. It's just darkness. I know. It's a really disappointing thing about the night beach. Yeah. Night you can kind of, you can always tell it's there for some reason. Well, because it's just an abyss. You yeah. Know? It, it gives you that existential feeling where you're like, I don't know. It's nothing. Mm-hmm. It's nothing. I kind of love, I kind of love going to the ocean for that, you know, because I'm like an anxious person. So it's like, it feels impossible to have anxiety when you're looking at the ocean. Yeah. Because you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm not even alive. I'm pretending I'm alive right, right now. It kills your ego. Yeah, it's exactly. ego death. Yeah. yeah. I, I love being near the ocean. Me too. This is beautiful. If I was a rich guy, I'd love to just live in a tiny little fucking three-bedroom right on the ocean. What do you, 
are you did you really just point to your Coke Zero like it's a new like wow, everyone's gotta get on this. No, this is olive oil. <laughs> yeah, can I get a uh, twenty four ounce of uh, sesame seed oil? It's so weird to see you like become a dad but still be retarded at the same time. Because mm-hmm. yeah. he'll do the point at the cup. Like a dad'll be like, This is now this is the good ice. <laughs> And then it'll be like, did you know that if you fuck a baby in its ass? <laughs> and it's like, it's such like mixed signals, you know? Ben has been doing things that make me like weirdly furious lately. <laughs> I know. Where I think the other day we were leaving a restaurant and he walked up and they had mints. Oh shit, that's a cop. Hello, oh, sir. thank God. What, what is he going to arrest you for being uh, drinking too much Coke Zero? <laughs> For gonna, being really yeah, gay. Give you a ticket for being a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> but we were leaving a restaurant. We were leaving a restaurant, and they had fucking normal mints at the front. And Ben walks up like a big dick swinger, and he goes, Oh my God, what are these? <laughs> like such a cheese dick. Who the fuck was that? When we were at the that? Morrison. It was the we, Morrison. I remember golf. you doing that. And it's like, it's this dad thing of not being able to just do something without like making a fucking employee Saying look something. at you. Ben's the type of guy that soon, like in the morning, like he'll, he'll be around people and he'll be like, guess it's time to put on my shoes. Yeah. Oh, it's a cop. Just a second. Go, go faster, Ben. Oh, he's, they're arresting a guy. Oh, my God, they're arresting a black guy. They're arresting a black guy. I don't know if he yeah, was black. No, he was a black guy. Yeah, that's what cops do, Ben. Yeah. Well, just another day yeah. at the office, ben. Sir, huh? Yeah. No, it's, it's... Roller coasters go up and down. <laughs> Clouds rain, Ben. <laughs> Dude. Clouds rain. Yeah, that was actually crazy. Do you do that? So that we're so right. You can't really see folks on he the thought camera. A, he thought that's th- the ocean there, and people are parked here. I did a U-turn. Because I wanted to see, and then that sheriff, his lights went on, and he had a black guy in handcuffs. Yeah, they pulled him over. I don't think the black guy was, like, admiring the the Pacific. He thought he was trying to steal the ocean. That's why he arrested him. (laughs) Dude, so he pulled over that black guy because his car door was open and then was putting him in the... He was putting him in the back of the cop car. That's probably DUI, huh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, poor guy. Well, little do we know, he just said, all right, now rap. <laughs> Dance. He starts, yeah. He's bobbing his yeah. head. He goes, that's pretty good. All yeah. right, on, on with your on with your night. Yeah, it's a sobriety checkpoint for black people as they throw cardboard on the ground. They go, Dance. <laughs> Spin on the head. Break down. <laughs> Do the head thing. I will say that would be a good test is if, like, you can pass, like, Sway's five fingers of death. <laughs> then, like, they let you go. They're like, he is he is faded, but he's in the zone right yeah, now. Yeah, they're like, dude, if, yeah, if you're drunk, but you're in the zone, yeah. it's fine. But no, can I can I briefly go back to the dad thing? Mm. Because it's, there's the dad thing of any time there's somebody who is forced through their job to, like, have to acknowledge your existence... They tr- they treat it like it's a it's a fucking hostage situation. Mm-hmm. So they walk they walk out and they go, ooh, these are the good mints. And then some woman who's just trying to get through college is like, very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, man. Wow, I wonder what that black guy did to deserve getting arrested. I mean, That's when was he cr- born? It's such a cruel, it's such a cruel world. I kind of, see, there's so many sheriffs out. I kind of wanted to get on the beach to end the episode, but I don't know. We, I, I know the beaches are closed at night, right? Yeah, we'd also, we'd walk out there and immediately get yeah. stabbed by a homeless person. You're allowed to park next to it, like these cars, and just like, you know, you can't see shit. Oh, so we can park and kind of look out at the ocean. That's what it seems like that guy that got life. arrested was doing. He just seemed parked, but maybe they pulled him over. Mm. What was he? Who knows what, what he, he did. to? Who knows what he did? Can you, if you blow, blow into a breathalyzer and you've had too much lean, does it show up? <laughs> I'm not making a joke. I'm actually wondering. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. That's, you know. Yeah. It's like, did they have a do rag detector? <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, Ben. They just use a paper I mean, bag. It's like, That's how they arrest yeah, them. Do, lean do they do they have a, a dunk machine? That you, whatever. You guys are the racist ones. Yeah, black people who the white people who do lean look like jelly roll. 
that fat country. What is artist. that that jelly roll I'm guy? I'm sick of that. I'm sick of seeing retard. him around on my feed. Fuck what it, did all he this do? music sucks ass. What does he make? Anybody who's by the way who's just trying to mooch off of like the comedy scene and stuff isn't talented talented enough to hack it in their own world. So then they have to pretend to like also be the funny guy. That is too. why suck I suck my dick. You that is fat, why I don't trust you fat him. Fat face tattoo. I don't retard. trust him because I found out about him through the comedy world, and I'm like, nah, I don't what. Because yeah. he did, like, Rogan or something? No, he just does music videos with, like, you know, comics that wear Air Force Ones and shit. Mm. Yeah, he just won, like, Best New Artist at, like, the CMAs or whatever, and I had to watch some stupid speech. Yeah, I saw him give a speech. Like, go like, viral. Like, yeah, I'm 39, and I made it. I mean, he, you know, he does, like, comedy music videos with, like, the, the worst podcasters on Earth. Okay, I'm pulling it Here we here. go. All right, Ben, now suck our dicks. Oh, this guy? Oh, shit, the, oh, bro. Shit. This yeah, yeah, go, go over. Yeah, that, guy's go over. Like, that guy's, like, Jesus. jacking off or something. Jesus, yeah, that what was, is going on? This I don't is, know. I didn't so know weird. that, like, Malibu at night was just, it's it's like GTA yes. San Andreas. We we pulled behind, it was a cholo in Adam Sandler basketball shorts, and he had his leg hiked up. He was like, hiking trying, his leg up and I think hiding he was hiding. He I think was he was doing. hiding his dick or something. Was that? Was he holding a Pringles can, or was that a thing tennis balls come in? He had that, he said it on the roof. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It maybe was something it was, that mortar shells for fireworks. Maybe come it was out. like a whippet canister or something. I don't know. That was fucking crazy. This is actually fascinating to see what's going on at uh at eleven thirty on PCH. Yeah. I mean, a lot of sinister characters. I guess the beach is kind of like the motel for people too poor to use the motel. Yeah. So you just pick up a hooker with your last eighty bucks. Yeah, because this is air conditioning right here. It's just the ocean. Yeah. You come out here, you roll the windows down, you're like, all right, I I pretty, I have AC now, and uh, I'm going to pull my dick out and shoot stuff into it and have someone suck it off. Yeah. Which isn't the worst way to go about life. No, it's not too bad. I got my dick sucked on the PCH one time. Really? Yeah, driving like around Santa Barbara, driving back Jeez. to LA. Oh, that's lovely. Right? Yeah, it was great. Great view. You never run out of schlong stories. Your schlong has been all over the world. Yeah, well, I was uh, I was a real horror for a long period of time. Your dick was like Flat Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> it's been in, like di- every continent. My dick has the stickers that say like Hawaii, Paris. Like you put on like <laughs> yeah. you put on like big luggage mm. when you were going on the Titanic. Should no, I was, turn around. Yeah, I think we could, so we could start heading We're back home. We're getting up to the Santa Monica Pier. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. We've this already, really sucks ass. We've already, we would turn into Will and Dawn if we actually went to the pier right now. Although, should we? No, we should not. We go, oh, look, what's that spinny round thing? <laughs> oh, it's like a big donut. It's like a donut <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> so you ride the donut and you eat it while you go around. Okay. Oh, look, Don, there's a Mexican fella doing whippets on the beach. <laughs> and I think he's getting sucked off they in go, his big basketball they shorts. They pull up, they go, hey, we like whipped cream, too. <laughs> Damn, so can I just do a fucking U-turn, or, is, or am I going to get popped? Let me come do up you want me to put? Do you want me to put that your address back in Google Maps? Yeah, just don't tell them what it is. Okay. 69 Racist Street. <laughs> it's not uh, even a great house. Ben just picked it for the address. I got to start playing PlayStation Live again because I have the best name on PlayStation Live. What's your name? <laughs> Gay Guy 42069. That is pretty good. That's really your name? Yeah, which I can't believe it wasn't taken. Keep, when I got and it keep going straight, ago. actually. It's, oh. it's quicker to keep going straight. We're only uh, 27 minutes away from your home. Oh, nice. Nice. Keep going straight, and it's going to take you on to the 10 east. We're going on the 10? Yeah. Oh, because then we're just going to pop up the 405. Yeah, we're, we're going 10 east to are. the 405. Yeah. I know where we are. We are going to drive past the Getty. Yeah, we're in Santa Monica. Oh, the oh. Getty. If you guys want to go see gay art. Yeah, the Getty sucks ass. If we're, when you grow up in L.A., for whatever reason, you like everyone talks about the Getty, and you go, and you're like, well, there's a nice little, like, 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 uh, tram thing that you can take that goes and you feel like you're on a roller coaster and then you get to the Getty and you're like, ugh. Yeah. Uh, ugh. More, more like the Serengeti. Yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ. More, more, like, <laughs> more, like the sh- more like the Shetty. Uh, success. It really stinks. No, I think it's literally people hear the words the Getty and it just sounds very rich. It sounds rich. really cool. Yeah. yeah. It's like saying you want to go to the Rockefeller? Yeah. What but is the, the circular thing in, in New York? Uh, the Guggenheim? Yeah, the, the Guggenheim. Guggenheim. Yeah, yeah. That's cool because you go, that sounds silly. I want to go to the place called the Guggenheim. Yeah. 
It's just more gay art. Yeah. I went to the Museum of Modern Art in New York. I threw up in the Museum of Modern Art because I was really hungover. I went to a Cuban bar. I went to an underground Cuban bar that my friend got me into, and I got hand. They were, I was so tall. Everybody was Cuban, so they were this big. Yeah, they were they're like, all. They all look like jockeys. Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they ride Seabus. Yeah, they were five one, and I. So I walk in, and I look like the guy who like they think I own the bar or something, just because I'm taller. And they give me free mojitos, and then I went to go see Starry Night at MoMA, and I I threw up in a trash can next to Starry Night. In MoMA? In MoMA. Nice. Yeah. Nice. When you're that fucked up, what does Starry Night look like? Does it look regular? It looks, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, how about this? Instead of MoMA, it's Moo Moo, and it's just a bunch of fat-ass ladies wearing ponchos Mm. walking around. Like, Mm. it's just fat ants with blankets with holes. Which, by the way, the Moo Moo is the... is I've never seen something that's such bullshit in my life than a moo moo. Do you know what a moo moo is? Yeah, yes. our, our granny used to wear them. It's just like a it's big a blanket cloth. with a hole in it. Yeah, you're wearing a, a tablecloth essentially. Yeah, it's what you would throw on a woman you found nude in public. You like put a put a tarp well, with flowers. It on basically it. is something that you put over like a corpse. Essentially, yeah. it's yeah, it's 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 rape victim gear. <laughs> Yeah, it's like Under Armour for rape yeah. victims. No, I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's sweat whisking rape gear. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, it's literally like you were getting a haircut and then you just walked out. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Dude, it's like, do you want your grandma to look like, do you want your grandma to look like Newman from Jurassic Park? Yeah. We'll have this moo moo for her. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing here? Stay left for Ocean Avenue. Yeah, so oh Ben, that's this. The, that's um a mad mad. It's a mad 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 world. That's the road they all yeah, do the yeah. U-turn down. The U-turn and then go to the. Yeah, yeah, that's a famous uh, little road right there. Yeah, go through this tunnel and, and get onto the Ten East. I met you on Ocean Avenue. Remember that? Remember that stupid? Fi- Remember when all songs sounded like that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, the days when every every rock band was singing about like uh like eighth grade romance. Yeah. They're like, I wanted to fuck you, yeah. but your dad wouldn't let me. Twenty-seven year olds, like, like, pack your bags, meet me at the shore. We're getting far away from here. We're gonna smoke weed and flip off a cop when he has his back turned. I bought you your first funnel cake, <laughs> and then you gave me a hand job. <laughs> I love hand jobs, and I'm 37 <laughs> years old. 38, and I can't get over my middle school breakup. <laughs> And everyone loves it for some fucking weird reason. I have a 401k and I'm dressed like the biggest gay guy in the world. Ocean Avenue. I met you on Ocean Avenue. <laughs> you know, uh, Blink-182 also had a song about where they go, I, I want to fuck a dog in the ass. Really? I want to fuck a dog. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Is that true? Yeah, it's it's true. They had they had a dog. They had a song called "I Want to Fuck a Dog in the Ass." Honestly, they put tr- it on an album. That, that makes sense. That tracks for that Blink One Eighty Two. They would do funny. shit like that's, that. That's white guy shit. That's yeah. white guy shit. That's like kicking somebody in the nuts. You know, that's like white guys do. We talk about fucking dogs. We do a podcast we do nut- called Lemon Party. We do nut taps. Yeah, nut yeah. taps and everything. It's like a fun time. That's what we do. That's what we do. Okay. I wish we were getting paled again. That was fun. I really wanted to like take that guy in a ride. Yeah, me too. I really did think something bad was about to yeah, happen. Yeah, that's I the so fun. Much tension that's in the, the car. I started babbling about wanting to like cover a woman in blood. Yeah, you went on some talking weird. Talking about the history of colors. It's funny to know that that would be your like that would be your last words. <laughs> if you, if you're ever in like danger, you right. just start rambling. You're like, you ever think about fucking a woman covered in petroleum jelly? Huh? Yeah. You ever think about yeah. that? And then imagine just pouring red dye number the forty, and then you just died. You're like, and everyone's like, what the hell? That was not. Like yeah. cinematic at all. You, He's, he went on this weird retard uh, rant. Yeah, you get to you get to heaven, the judgment seat, and they're watching your whole life. And they get to the very end, they're like, "Oh, I think you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna get into heaven." And then the last bit is you saying you'd fuck a woman covered in blood, and they go, "No, you're going to hell. <laughs> you're a sick fuck." Enjoy, God calls me a sick. Fuck. Yeah, enjoy demon cock, fuck face. That's God. Uh, get on the four hundred five north to Sacramento. God's like, yeah. God smoking a cigarette is like, yeah. You're a, you're actually a faggot. <laughs> fuck yeah, you. yeah. I'm God, and you yeah, suck, you suck balls you're and going dick. To hell because you actually didn't get enough pussy. <laughs> Which, because you're a narcissist, right? You didn't fuck enough. Jace is going to heaven because he was a whore and pushed his emotions down by getting sad pussy from women he hated. 
which is good. What, the saddest pussy you ever <laughs> got, Jace. Uh, does it like what kind of feeling does it leave you with? I fucked a woman. I know the saddest pussy I've I've ever had. I was like I was going through a breakup and I was just drunk all the time and I fucked. Uh, I I used to do this bit on stage, but I fucked a woman who looked like uh, the baby from Dinosaurs. <laughs> In a wig, <laughs> baby Sinclair. She looked like baby Sinclair in a wig. Happy mama. Dude, I was like, dude, I was. <laughs> she was like on it. I was like on a dating app, and I was like, God, this woman's really ugly, but I guess I'll fuck her, or whatever. And then I got to the bar, and she was even uglier than her picture. I was like, all right, fuck it. And I remember even like walk. Do we walked back to her place to go have sex from the bar? Yeah. And she stopped at California Donuts. Oh, and she wait, ate, that's when you lived behind the donut store. Yeah, I lived by the donut store. We were like in the same neighborhood, and she she ate two donuts, and then I fucked her. Oh, God. It wasn't even regular I donuts. I this bit. She ate like yeah. cream filled donuts. It was donuts like cream filled and, yeah, donuts. Jelly yeah, jelly filled. Yeah. And, uh, that was like that was like literally the moment where I was like, okay, I need to like stop. Yeah. Like this was really fucked up. She ate cream filled. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. She was literally like, dude. She was literally like, do you want any? I was like, no. I'm about to fuck you. She's like, all right, more for me. Oh, Didn't you God. say while you were fucking her, you could like fill the donuts in her stomach like yeah. it was an unborn child? Dude, she was jacking. I had I had sugar on my dick afterwards from her jacking me off. It really sucked ass. I remember that Jesus. one time you, you got th- diabetes. <laughs> that one time you thought you got like a Mexican goth girl like pregnant or something, and it turns out it was someone yeah. else's baby. I had I had one pregnant scare because I was fucking a Mexican lady without a condom, which I knew at the time was so stupid, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're like the most fertile women on earth. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she was really, I mean, she was cool. She was really good at sex. She was really hot. But uh, after our third date, she drunk texted me like, don't ever stop loving me. And I go, oh, you're like a crazy psycho. (laughs) You're like a crazy psycho bitch. (laughs) So I... So uh, I was like, I was like, yeah, you're fucking weird. So no thanks, <laughs> thanks, thanks for all the pussy though. <laughs> and then, and then, dude, I like six months later, I still followed her on Instagram, and I was like, I'm gonna go stalk her pictures and jack off real quick. And I, uh, I was looking at her pictures, and I was like, oh, she's she's pregnant. She's like six months pregnant. You started freaking the I fuck start, out. I started I started freaking the fuck out. I was literally Googling like six months pregnant, Google image, like comparing. I was like, dude, I think she's six months pregnant. There was a Mexican dude posted up with her, like she was dating, I guess. Yeah. And I was like, for three months, I was so worried and then I finally waited until she posted the baby pictures and it was like a little brown kid. It was a brown so, kid. And I was like, oh my God. And I was like, blog on everything. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> well, I was just terrified that she was going to give birth to like a, just a four foot tall white kid. Yeah, to a I'm, kid that looked like uh, like like a little Mexican Drake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I just have like a little like Jace Ramirez yeah. running around. And you, 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 you track her. She's like, like in, she's posting on Instagram. She's like, He's one one year old and he's like on well butrin like and you're like fuck yeah like he does bits where he's like really sad and it makes everybody worried even though he's like not really that sad he's just like it's a character he plays <laughs> like he used to be sad but he's like done a lot of work on himself and he feels pretty good yeah mm. and they call him a faggot in the barrio he says faggot and retard a lot like we don't know what's up with edward he's one years old he's one years old he's like hella emotional sometimes though. i wonder if his dad is really his dad <laughs> yeah he is like taller than all of us at like <laughs> yeah. at like one <laughs> he's five eleven. he's one years old <laughs> He's being recruited by West Texas football scouts. Yeah, he like drinks jugs of milk one at a time. <laughs> it's like fucked up and shit. Yeah, but thankfully, I uh, I just recently actually checked up because I got paranoid again. <laughs> I'm still laughing. <laughs> what? Her saying never stop loving never me. Never stop loving me, yeah. <laughs> your stone cold reaction of like, oh <laughs> yeah, man. She, you go, you're a psychopath. Okay. You just fuck her. You're, <laughs> you're a crazy bitch. You know what's funny? I think I was talking to... I was talking to Estrada. Um, it was either Estrada or Kevin Macias. And uh, I was like telling him that story. He's like, oh, that's just like Mexican women. Like, that's what they do. Like, they're like hella dramatic like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and they just say like I like they listen to Morris and they go, please don't like ever stop loving me and shit. Yeah, that's true. Like they're, it's just like they're normal. really spicy firecrackers. What is with the Mexican? Pe- I love them so dearly, but they are very emotive. Like goth goth Mexican dudes, like in punk Mexican dudes, they really like emote. It's kind of wild. Because some of yeah, them well, are, are somewhat stoic and can work seventy hours a week, and the others uh, they, they they howl like wolves at the moon. Well, no, that's every Mexican dude. <laughs> I, yeah. think you're, I think you're talking about the coyotes in your neighborhood, Ben. <laughs> you got confused again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like in, you're like in, you're inventing you're inventing new racism. Is, is the Mexican punk guys not a thing? Yes, that's a thing. They love they do they love Morrissey. They love yeah. rooting. They, like the, like, they love punk bands. They're like true love will find the... you in the end, fool. Yeah. Yeah, but Mexican people like are are gray. You know, it's not like they're like the Mexican punk guys. You know, like I know a lot of Mexican punk guys, and they're just like, yeah, I like like the germs are cool and shit. <laughs> It's like not like they're like they've got a beer bottle and they're just like breaking it over their head no, and like trying to stab no. people. Yeah. You know what? Another trope of Mexican guy in LA people probably don't know about is Mexican guy who's really into fifties Americana. Yeah, rockabilly Mexicans. Dude, rockabilly Mexicans yeah. are some of my favorite guys of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I Mexican- used to get my hair cut at a place where they were all rockabilly Mexicans. Yeah, Estrada's place, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That place a, is great. On Virgil. Well, Mexican people are the ultimate Americans. I mean, and and truly. by the way, go watch uh, this fool on Hulu. Check out this fool. Estrada is, is he's the man. Yeah. He's very Chris funny. Estrada is a, a wonderful, wonderful man. And Devin's in one the, the show. One of the best people ever. Right. Now that the life. strike's ended, we can officially tell you to watch yeah, this fool. Yeah, we're allowed to tell you. Go watch this fool. Yeah. The strike Devin's on the show with uh, Michael Imperioli it. from uh, The Sopranos. Yeah, episode 10, season one. Yeah. Um, I did love people when once the strike ended, people posting like, Hey, now that the strike's over, I can finally let you know I did background for this Liberty Mutual commercial. <laughs> Just a heads yeah. up. Yeah. Just a heads up, I shot a vlog last month, so strike's over, I can say that. Just let you know, I did the catering on a State Farm <laughs> commercial, so. I played the dead body in a, in a body bag on this NCIS episode. They thought I was actually dead. They tried to throw me away. <laughs> so now that now that the the unions yeah. Yeah. have worked it out, I can share that. Now that the strike's over, I can let you know I'm in Grace and Frankie <laughs> season fourteen. I'm in season fourteen, which Jane Fonda doesn't even know was filmed. Jane Fonda's been dead for years, but we just kind of prop her body up. And yeah, we're de- still going. We've developed an AI that's just Jane Fonda. <laughs> Imagine thinking Rizzoli and Isles like is going to be like your big break. Oh, I know how to get home. From I just I don't want to say it out loud so that you no, know. No, no, I know. I tell them exactly how to get to your house. Uh, Imagine like your big break is like you're you're uh, you're going to be in an episode of Rizzoli and Isles. <laughs> like just a, sort of a side character, like mm-hmm. maybe a few minutes, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you you watch the episode. You call everybody over. Like your parents fly in. It's like a really big deal because they know you're like emotionally so like fragile. Everybody comes in. They're at your horrible apartment in North Hollywood, and you guys are watching it on Netflix. And you realize your scene is cut. Mm-hmm. And you walk out on the patio and you you kill yourself. <laughs> they all look outside. Right. And you stick a gun in your mouth and you blow your head right. off. Right. And they don't even they don't even yell no no no. They go yes 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> they go yes do it do it. They do hold it, they hold the gun it. up to your head <laughs> like they're trying to get you to finish a drink. The cops right. rule it an assisted suicide. Yeah. <laughs> the it's the first just suicide in California. Yeah. Do it. Do it. My uh, my friend uh, saw someone kill themselves in France. Really? Really? Would he rape himself? <laughs> <laughs> he was in uh, I think it was Paris, and he saw some guy uh, stand on top of a bridge. And he was like maybe twenty feet from him. Yeah. And he goes, Oh, the age of consent is only twelve. There's no reason to live. <laughs> he stabbed himself with a big baguette in the belly. Chocolate bleu. Chocolate bleu. The teenage pussy. <laughs> but yeah, he jumped off and he died. Yeah. yeah and my friend just like watched him like drift off, like his dead body like came up and he just like drifted off into the ocean. Yeah. Or and, whatever. And like in France, or wherever Paris is. In France we have shit. a term for the uh, depression you get when you cannot fuck a baby pussy. <laughs> we call it in we <laughs> baby pussy. He wanted to he's French so he wanted to fuck a baby <laughs> pussy. <laughs> and we call that uh, la petite in we when you're so depressed from no baby pussy. <laughs> 
Oh god. Yeah, sick French bastards. Yeah. I hear France is uh is overrun with immigrants. <laughs> I've I've listened to those programs too, Devin. I've seen this on the Twitter <laughs> or X. I don't know if it's true or not. You know, there's a fucked up thing. I think I've told you this off pod. There's a fucked up thing in uh, France where if you're an American black dude in France, they treat you like really fucking nice. Right. Because they have that history of like James Baldwin and a bunch of like black intellectuals who lived there. Uh And there's black people who moved to France and they're like, people treat me great. I finally don't feel like racism at all. And then they get if they get good enough at French that they sound like they're from France. Like people start being like, then, get it, get it together, darky. <laughs> and like spit at them and that shit. That makes sense, actually. Yeah. Right. Well, because they, they, but that's weird though, because I thought they don't like Americans. I thought French that's people. The, that's the only Americans they like. Because they're is like exotic. Because, yeah, there was a history of like in the seventies and eighties. It was like Nina Simone, James Baldwin, all these like black American intellectuals moved to Paris because they were facing so much like hate right. in the United States. So they have this like culture like, oh, it's the it's the arts, it's black arts from it's good. Right, right. So okay. they like they love them until you're like but if you're a black person who's born in Paris, they're like, Yeah, get a fucking jab. Right, interesting. I don't so. know. I, I, I don't. I, I, I haven't met many French people in my life, but I don't like them. They, they're stinky. That's all they I know. fuck kids. I mean, I, there's I not just, much to like, honestly. They there, haven't been culturally relevant since 1920. Yeah. There was a French guy at our college, and I fucking hated his guts just because he would walk around and be like, they have a, you in America, they have these uh, a cheeseburger? No, 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 no. <laughs> and people would be like, oh, that's so interesting. I'm like, no, fuck that guy. Yeah. Fuck that retarded yeah, ass fuck guy. You. Like in France, you don't have like something called like, oh, it's snare poop, like chocolate and right. shells and right. shit. Fuck don't, off. Don't they fucking like, uh, what, what do they eat there? They, uh, yeah, they, I'm sure, actually, what are we doing here? They have the best food on earth. Do they? Beef bourguignon and Coco Vin. Yeah, and yeah. Croissants yeah. and all that shit. I think they invented like modern like baking. They invented most of it. Stop yeah. buying into all this propaganda. America has the best food on planet Earth. That's true. Yeah, America's the only place you can eat food out of a helmet. <laughs> you can go to a baseball game, you can true. eat brisket out of a baseball helmet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that's beautiful. I mean, any any place you go to now, it has machines that food just oozes out of. Vending machines. Uh, we have soft serve ice cream machines, froyo machines. You go to stores now; it's just it's big glowing machines, and they're humming, yeah. like like a like a like a brain on the limitless pill. Like it's like this fuel cell. It's it's humming and and sizzling, and you just you pull a big lever, like you work at the factory itself, and it just all comes out. Nice and gooey into a cup, and you eat it. That's the mm-hmm. thing. France doesn't understand goo. Yes, they don't have goo machines. No, we've cornered the market on goo. We're the we're the kings of goo. Oh, <laughs> the kings of it. Oh my god, we've pioneered goo. Yeah, it's the golden age of goo. Uh huh. And and it, we've been perfecting it for a while now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait until we we have like coke machines put in our chests, like surgically. <laughs> like it's like video drone, but for yeah. fast food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like Iron Man's chest, except it's that it's it's the vending machine at the AMC theater. Yeah, that has every flavor of Coke you could ever have, which I do love so much. I, I love so. Theory. When I was a kid, that would be that would be the only thing I ever wanted. Like that would be like my best friend. That'd be like yeah. like uh, like Hook for me. <laughs> like when I was a little kid, that's like Peter. My Peter Pan would be a big Coke machine comes to me and it has every flavor. Dude, of every I re- soda on earth. I remember the first time I saw one of those Coke machines, and I reacted like one of the apes in two thousand one. In front of the monolith, like I was just jumping around and like, <laughs> and like bashing against it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. I fucking lost my mind. I'm like, you telling me I can do cherry vanilla limeade, full Coca Cola that tastes like shit? <laughs> you mean it can taste like even more shit? God, is it beautiful? Eventually, the U.S. Surgeon General will come out and just tell everybody. He goes, just eat your own cum. Right. He'll, the, the, US no surgeon, the U.S. Left. Surgeon General will, will at some point come out and go, just go back to cigarettes. Stop. <laughs> Everyone stop. Mm-hmm. It, it, it'll, it'll stifle your appetite. <laughs> smoke. <laughs> smoke again. Just smoke cigarettes. Eat your own cum. You, we're going to be fine. We're going to get through this. Yeah. Well, I guess we're... 
getting to my exit now, so maybe we should kind of that, stop. That's what's fun about when the world goes to shit, is that you feel more comfortable living like shit. Because you're like, well, what if everything ends soon? Mm. Mm-hmm. That's the fun, weird thing about like when times get bad. You get to marinate in bad habits. You, yeah. yeah well, I mean, well, so, I'm depressed or life sucks and the world's going to shit. Let's fucking drink up and eat like shit and, like, who cares about my health because we're, you know. Yeah, well, it's kind of like losers once they reach, like, 45 and they get to go, like, oh, there's, this is not, I thought I was going to pull out of this. It's, I'm not. And then they just get to get really weird with it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, they start experimenting with their own bodies, essentially. Yeah. 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 It's like that new Cronenberg film. Where they're just growing ears on their chest. Yeah, yeah. crimes of the future. Yeah. Every Cronenberg movie is about like a spine that talks. <laughs> I know. I always mix yeah. up every single one. So like, is about, that a video yeah. drone? Or? It's a new the new Cronenberg movie about a, about an ankle bone that 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 travels the country. <laughs> like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> they're like, but get yeah. but get this get this the ankle bone has a pussy. That's right. It's kind of weirdly sexual. <laughs> it's also weirdly sexual. It's also weirdly sexual. New movie about a shin that's a pedophile. <laughs> but it's kind of the movies where he's like, Ooh, what if in the future everybody fucked by doing this? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like weird music is playing. That's how people fuck. Yeah, Cronenberg in a, in a <laughs> Cronenberg in a pitch meeting at WB being like, what if a dick had a pussy? And a pussy... <laughs> Had a dick, mm-hmm. and they go, "God damn it, here's five million dollars." Woo! You sick Canadian fuck. He's Canadian. He is Canadian. That's why he's so weird because he's overcompensating for coming from such a normie country. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. His son's a pretty good director too. Yeah. He did that movie Possessor, which was pretty good. I haven't seen it. It stars the guy from Girls who didn't get uh, Adam Driver's career. Mm. That's pretty good. Oh, the other gay guy. Yeah, the other guy from Girls. Yeah. No, not the gay guy. The guy who fucks uh, Marnie's character. Oh, um... Uh, which the one? hot Jufro guy. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, okay, you know right, right, right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Anyway, should, we, should we get this before we get to your house, Ben? Yeah, probably, yeah. before you guys start doing, like, AMC movie trivia. God, I felt like I was like... Yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, I want to fuck started. a lady covered in blood. Yeah. How about that? Is that a great riff for you? Quickly, real... <laughs> yeah. Dissect the N-word yeah. for Ben. <laughs> you Hold s- on. You sick bastard. Talk about how uh, the how the strength of chains. <laughs> Ben's like, hey, we did 30 seconds of the podcast our moms could listen to. We're going to edit that out. Yeah, we're going to have to cut that out. They're going to complain about that part. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, oh. patreon.com slash lemon party uh, for a backlog of, there's like 55 episodes on there. We have golf matches on there. We have a lot of fun. We get a little bit more wild than we do here because we're allowed to. And uh, live streams every Wednesday on the clip on the Clips channel, uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Devin at Hate Watch Pod, Jace at Sad Drawings by Jace. And folks, we'll see you next week. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. You. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina, music would play and Polina would whirl. Blacker than night were the eyes of Polina, wicked and evil while casting a spell. My love was deep for this Mexican maid I was in love but in vain I could tell One night a while